Welcome to Cengage Learning eMedsys, Getting Started, an installment of the Course Care Self-Training Video Series. Hello, I understand you're going to be using the eMedsys Educational Edition software in your course. How exciting! We've created this video to help you get started so that you can successfully use the eMedsys software. Our agenda for this video is downloading and installing the eMedsys software. A little bit about the very important eMedsys configuration tool. And lastly, getting you logged into the system. Please note that on page 125 of the eMedsys student workbook are the instructions for installing the software. Okay, first things first. You'll need to open up your web browser and go to this website to download the eMedsys program. Make sure you're typing the address into the address location field and not a search window. Here we are. Now you need to click on the button Download eMedsys to start the process. When this window opens up, you can click on Run to immediately start the download from the internet, or you can also save the file to your computer and install it later on. For now, I'm going to click on Run. This process will take a couple of minutes to complete. Once finished, you will be asked if you want to run the program. Click on Run. The installation wizard window will come up. Click on Next, Next again, and finally click on Install to get the ball rolling. This will take just a few more minutes. Once the program has been installed, the box is going to come up and ask you to enter the enterprise number. Don't panic! That number is located on the inside front cover of your student workbook. Enter the number and click on OK. You will then be asked to confirm if it's correct or not. Click Yes. Now click Finish. You'll have an icon for eMedsys on your desktop and also under your All Programs list, and that's where we're heading next. I'll click on Start, All Programs, and scroll through my list of programs until I get to eMedsys. Click on it to see what's inside. You'll find a shortcut to the eMedsys program, and you'll find the eMedsys configuration tool. This is what makes sure that your login information is going to the right eMedsys server, and you'll do it prior to logging into eMedsys program each time. Since you will need to do this each time before you log into eMedsys, I'm going to show you how you can create a shortcut to this tool on your desktop so you don't have to go searching each time. Just right click on the eMedsys configuration tool and a menu will open. Scroll and select Send To, and then click on Desktop. Voila! You now have this shortcut on your desktop so you can get to it easier. Okay, we're almost there. The next thing to do is double click on the eMedsys configuration icon and enter your enterprise number. Click on OK and you will then be asked to confirm if it's correct or not. Click Yes. Now we'll double click on the eMedsys shortcut to log in. Remember, you'll find your enterprise number plus your login name and password on the inside front cover of your student workbook. Sorry instructors, you'll need a student workbook to get the login information. Also students, on the inside of the back cover is your instructor's login information for your program. Make sure to write your name on the card and then cut the card out and turn it into your instructor. Here we are, logged into the eMedsys program and you're ready to get started. Good luck! Oh, and remember, page 125 of your student workbook are where the written instructions for installation are located. Thanks for watching and we hope you found this helpful. 
For additional information and help with eMedsys, you can visit Cengage Technical Support at cengage.com support and search our knowledge base. For instructors, inside your instructor faculty single sign-on account, under the heading Training, Support, and Digital Solutions, you'll find the link to Course Care.